Paradise Square was once a public meeting place. John Wesley is said to have had his biggest weekday congregation here. The nonconformist church has strong traditions in the city, and Sunday school gatherings fill several public parks each Whitsuntide. Country dancing has its devotees even in an industrial city, perhaps strengthened in Sheffield by the closeness of open countryside. A sense of the open country is easily felt, for the number of parks and open spaces is generous. As much as one-tenth of the total acreage of the city is public open space, a greater proportion than for any other industrial city of Britain. Opportunities for open-air recreation are many and various for the energetic or the idle, in peace and quiet, or in noisy jollity, for active participation or for watching, for young and for old, the annual Sheffield show regularly attracts family crowds. Pony trekking, athletics, harriers, motorcycling, lawn tennis, archery, rugby, hockey, fishing, judo, skiing, homing pigeons, gliding, there are clubs for all of them and more. Innumerable bowling greens, eight riding schools, seven golf courses, nine swimming pools, 130 tennis courts and over a hundred municipal football and cricket pitches. As well as countless amateur activities, there are two professional football clubs internationally recognised, Sheffield United and Sheffield Wednesday. Water for Sheffield and District, over 50 million gallons a day for about a million thirsty throats, comes from reservoirs in the nearby hills. Sheffield's so-called Lake District, public access is generally permitted, is only about half an hour by bus from the heart of the city. Away from it all, or getting together, dancing in the streets. You can take your choice. A city is people, a place for them to live in, to use. And this city's planning is on a human scale, never oppressive. From the very centre, you can easily lift up your eyes and see distant hills. The Lord Mayor's Parade features people of the city, workers of many kinds and shapes.
the local police force plays a leading role in crime prevention and sets a national pattern in public awareness and cooperation. A far cry from the 19th century larks by these actors from the city's professional repertory company. The Crucible Theatre has a justifiable claim as one of the most advanced theatre designs in Europe. In the Don Valley, the area of heavy industry, British Rail say Sheffield has a more modern layout of railway facilities than any other industrial area of Britain. A motorway, the M1, enters this area connected to the very heart of Sheffield by an urban motorway. There is also a large and modern depot for container traffic. There is thus ready access to transport for the many industries of the region. Sheffield high grade steel is essential for countless tools for other industries. Tools of the highest quality, reliable, trustworthy, giving long service even in the most arduous conditions. Tools for the home handyman, as well as for the skilled engineer. But it's not only steel products that are made in Sheffield. The bottling of drink, as well as the packaging of food, and the largest snuff makers in the country. Sheffield's industry is continually diversifying and to the south of the city within the boundary at Mosborough a whole new town within a town is being created. 5,000 acres for new industries, new communities, all within easy reach of the region's transport, within reach of the major facilities of the parent city. Facilities for the arts and for study. Sheffield University is expanding rapidly towards an anticipated student population of 10,000 by the 1980s. Not unnaturally for an industrial city, there's a leaning towards science studies and a long tradition of cooperation between university and local industry. There are 16 major research organizations with establishments in Sheffield, including those for cutlery, for iron and steel, and for glass.